It's nice to be in the shop again. Well, I got a subject here you might be interested in if you're interested in the more jig pour. And that's the spindle bearings. And that's a serious, serious uh, subject. Uh, well, I tried to get started on that. And uh, I don't think I've got good news for you. The right off, the spindle bearings are going to cost you $1,500 average. And the spindle bearings you will use in the more jig board, and I believe uh, the, the number two and the number three use the same, is Barden DUM 107. Two pairs. But they're not going to work like that, like they are. And what I'm going to explain to you might be a little bit uh, unbelievable, and I, uh, I want you to check it out. Uh, what I'm about to tell you. And uh, I want you to call your bearing supplier and see what they can do for you. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to give you a better boost than uh, the technicians at Moore gave me. And that's where I learned this. Okay, I'm going to grab the camera and we'll get over there a little closer. Ah, uh, yeah. Down we go. Okay. Now, you are going to have to build one of these. And what this is, is a hydraulic scale. You see that? And I'm going to push it with my mighty thumb. Wow, that's 20 pounds anyway. Okay, I'm going to put it back. Get her back in there. And I'm going to put it, the ram, into the Stevens torque limiting vise. And you can, you can examine this too. Now, what you have to do, and you see that gauge. You're going to have to put a load on those bearings of 250 pounds for the nose pair of bearings. <laughs> we won't use this vice. You'll, you'll put the, uh, um, the, the ram here um, in an arbor press. And you'll take the bearings and you will make holders. Because you'll have this spindle apart, and you'll take your dial bore gauge, and you will measure what the bore is, where these bearings go in. I don't have the bearings to show you. I lost them somewhere. Um, so you're going to have to recreate the way these bearings nest, and you're going to have to make a plug that's a duplicate of the, the spindle journal, okay, that goes through the center. And with a plug and with a holder, you'll use this scale on a uh, arbor press and you will press on that inner race and have a range, a dial indicator that will measure the deflection. Each bearing. There's no other way. <laughs> You're really stuck. More can do it for you. Uh, the price, the average price they gave me 20 years ago or more was 4,000 bucks for a spindle rebuilt. Okay. By the way, <clears throat> you can't use the spacers that, uh, that are in there that came originally. The original bearings that came in this machine are no longer manufactured. They were MRC Gurney Special. And I'm not kidding you, they had handwriting all over them. I'll find them, they're really cool. But the difference is, modern bearings, the replacements, the Bardens, have one more ball. And that changes the deflection I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> That's just part of the fun, okay? If you need a bearing replacement. Now, that uh, this more, if you've ever heard of custom 
preload bearings, this is the machine. This isn't a nonsense little deal like the, like the Delta uh, heavy duty shaper with regular bearings and they squish them together. This is the real deal here. You're taking really expensive bearings and you're doubling um, factory heavy preload which is about 125 pounds. The nose pair, you're gonna to have to look in the manual. The nose pair is 250 pounds preload, and I believe, believe the, the, the tail pair is something like 146. So maximum preload from the factory is 125 pounds. So uh, the best approach uh, 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 that was uh, given to me from a, uh, from a more guy, a more guy, but was to use uh, the medium preload uh, Barden bearings. They come in light, medium, and heavy. Uh, the medium preloads will get you uh, in a, a spot where you don't have to alter the spacer so much. Okay? And <clears throat> you can't you can't uh, custom preload um, other spindles. And this is the reason why Moore is a premier super precision machine shop. Uh, you know, they're, they're probably one of the best in the world, if they're not the best in the world. They make the spindle shaft and the housing to the accuracy of a Barden grade nine bearing. And you're not going to find that on, on your regular machine tools, okay? So you're using a grade 9 bearing, you're doubling the preload. Like I said, if you call Barden and talk to a technician, and there, there is absolutely no formula to do this. And what they're going to tell you is do not do it. Do not, you're crazy if you're gonna double the preload on, on those bearings. But you can do it because Moore did it. Now, if you think about it, um, there, there, this is uh, like a separation of your vertical mill and the jig bore is that spindle arrangement, okay? Now, now on the later machines, the number three, they put a thermometer on here. So you can monitor how hot these bearings get. And when these bearings are, are brand new, you can run this at full speed for 20 minutes and it's cool. You can feel it's still cool. And I put these new bearings in, I don't know, 20, 25 years ago, and they just barely get warm. So, you know, they're getting they're, you know, they're getting on. And I notice a slight de degradation of uh, surface finish. Okay, it's slight, you know, it's still great, and I'm happy, and I'm not going to do nothing about it. But be aware that uh, the spindle bearings are an expendable item. Be aware that the shelf life of special grease is five years. So if you get 20 years out of a set of bearings like this, you're, you're doing good. Now to test this machine, you want to run the machine for at least 10 minutes at full speed and see how hot it is, see how hot it gets. And the quill is such a tight fit. If it gets very warm, you won't be able to retract the spindle. It'll stick right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's all doable, and uh, you just have to do it. And one of the problems is contamination, because uh, once you open the package and take the bearing out, you're, the bearing is starting to be destroyed. So that, ex that extra handling has to be done very, very carefully, very quickly. You need to read everything that Barden puts out about bearings. Okay, now get busy reading. I'll talk to you a little bit later.